Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and in this video we're reviewing some very special wagons. Uncle Fredrickson's amazing balancing open wagons and freight train produced by none other than Sam's Trains. So these were announced by Sam's Trains on the weekend and they're a follow on from his Uncle Fredrickson's amazing balancing coaches which he released in October last year. If you're into model trains then I'm sure you've already heard of Sam's channel but if you didn't catch the video then I'll put a link to it up here in the corner and also down below in the description. Essentially Sam has designed and 3D printed these really cool models. They're totally fictional, but he's come up with a backstory for them detailing their life working the Grimburn Railway on the island of Moro Tosis in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The grand title of Uncle Fredrickson's Amazing Balancing Wagons comes from their designer, Archibald E. Fredrickson, and the fact that each wagon impressively, or should I say amazingly, balances on a single axle when coupled up with similar wagons. I missed out on the initial coach packs because they were a limited edition run and they sold out really quickly. And I was pretty disappointed. So when I saw he was gonna release some new models from the same range, I had to get them. There were two packs available this time, each with an initial release of 75. So I got one of each. The first is a set of three open coal wagons and the other is a set of three different wagons, including a box van, a milk tanker and a brake van. If you want to know all the details about how he made them and how to put them together, Sam's video goes through this in quite a bit of detail, so I won't repeat it here, but I will say that I'm really impressed with what he's been able to achieve. They're not meant to be top quality models or competition for the big manufacturers, and Sam acknowledges this himself in the video. But having said that, they do have a lot going for them. They've all got metal wheels that run nice and smoothly. There's quite a bit of detail with some separately fitted parts and the 3D printed pivot couplings do a great job. It's a creative idea combined with a lovely design and some nice printing, something a bit different and interesting to have on your layout. I've just got into 3D printing myself and it can be a challenge to get designs like this to come out how you want them to, but once it works, it's incredibly rewarding. This is just a brilliant example of what's possible and I'm sure 3D printing is gonna revolutionize the hobby over the next few years. I don't have much of a layout at the moment, but I really wanted to give these a go. Before I did, I wanted to add a couple of my own 3D printed creations. I designed my own version of Uncle Fredrickson in a piece of software called Make Human, where you can pretty much generate any person you like, then download them for 3D printing. In my head, because Uncle Fredrickson is from the 1800s, he was a top hat suit wearing kind of guy, so that's what I've gone with. I use my resin printer because it gives a bit more fine detail. I've printed him out and painted him up and this is how he's turned out. Sorry to interrupt, Rob from the future here. I actually thought this paint job was quite good when I was doing it. It turns out up close, it's pretty dreadful. It does show off how good the resin printer is though, because you've got all the detail with the fingers and the face. It just is my paintwork, which is shockingly bad, and I clearly need to get some sort of magnifying glass. Also, seeing as these are his creations, I thought I'd also have a go at modeling Sam. And I think I've got pretty close to his likeness here. We've got the logo t-shirt, and hopefully he's not too offended. Me from the future here again. I genuinely thought this looked good when I was doing it. Up close, it obviously looks like something terrible has happened to his face. Sam, I can only apologize and I hope you realize that my intentions were good. So I'll pop them on the brake van and I'll get the wagons hooked up to my Hornby Peckett. And as I say, I don't have much of a layout set up, but I'll give them a short run through the station. So apparently the Grimburn Railway was circular and there was never any need to reverse the wagons and Sam did warn against this in his video. Unfortunately, my short runner isn't circular so I did try reversing them and can confirm it doesn't end well. The wagons end up in a little bit of a wiggly mess. 
Overall, some really fun wagons. The idea is just so unique and it shows what 3D printing is capable of. Well done to Sam, it certainly got me motivated to have a go at designing my own rolling stock. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you again soon.